guys, this is Owie here, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I'm going to be covering my background story, so you guys can get to know me more. So, I was born in Boston, um, back in 1996, and was raised in Marshfield. Um, so I was born with, with, with hearing and vision issues, um, which makes my day-to-day -day life challenging as I have to wear hearing aids and stuff. Um, but, brush that aside, because today... We're going to talk about where I came from and where I am now. So, growing up, I was always different. I never understood myself. Um, always hung out with um, with other women um, growing up. And no, I didn't know why. And also, many others were didn't really understand me. So, when I was in high school... Um, I attempted for the first time to come out transgender in 2013 to 2014 school year. Um, however, um, I kind of pulled back due to some due to some counseling pressure, um, and also at the time, um, gender dysphoria was not recognized as well by the public as it is today. Um, so, what? So then, when I was in when I was going through high school, I was I felt awkward in junior year, and I did not go to prom. Senior year, I did go, but I felt awful about myself. To be honest, I didn't. I felt like I was not me at all. Um, and I remember I used to go through the collage from Grand Age of Bridal and Prom, which is in my city in Quincy. Um, but, and I always, I found one that, I found a prom dress I really loved and I wished that I could wear it, but evidently it never happened. So, as a way to try to mask who I really was, I was trying to go to the conservative church and everything, and just like not being myself. And that became, that really put a lot of pressure on myself. So I was always a very like artistic girl. I was in theater, um all kinds of music, like the saxophone, the piano, uh, the ukulele. Also, I've been into photography. So I was very artistic, so I kind of found myself more in the artistic crowd. So, in 2017, um, a light came to me that I needed to come true to myself because both of my grandmothers passed away in the same year of 20 of fall 2016 and it kind of shed light that life is too short so I came out to my mother at first and then later on and I came out to her on my 21st birthday April 13th um so what happened is that later on that month I came out to my father unfortunately he was not as open as my, my mother was but that, that's all different today. So, I've been transitioning for three years. I've been on hormones for, will be on hormones for a year as of May 7th. Um, I'm almost done with my transition. I just have a few more things left, which I'll cover in future videos. Um, unfortunately, my mother passed away a year ago, but my father and I's relationship has um, turned 180, and he came like really close so that is some good news so more about me is that i am very into nintendo like mostly mario and animal crossing um and also i know some stuff about computers so and i hope that i can get to know each and every one of my viewers and i'm and i'm hoping that as time goes on um, this series right now will be just like getting to know me, but this is like a general of what you heard right now. So I, I hope you like this video. If you could, um, please like the video, subscribe to the, to my channel and like the notification bell to get notified for my latest videos. As always, thank you very much. Bye.